intraocular lens exchange of single piece acrylic lenses after YAG capsulotomy. I was trained that if there's an opening in the posterior capsule to never place a single piece acrylic lens into the eye. Instead, place a three piece lens. Herein lies the dichotomy between theory and reality. We place a lot of single piece acrylic presbyopia correcting lenses into our patients in 2024. And some of these patients will express dissatisfaction with their vision after receiving these lens implants. The surgeon will see posterior capsule opacification and perform a YAG laser capsulotomy to improve the patient's vision. The patient then returns to the surgeon still dissatisfied with their vision with the single piece acrylic lens and wants to achieve their desired refractive goal of great subjective and objective vision far mid and near without glasses from the eye that has now already undergone YAG laser capsulotomy. The only lens design that will allow them to achieve their visual goal is still a single piece acrylic lens. We encounter this scenario every week in our practice. The vast majority of these patients received a single piece of acrylic lens, they're not happy with it, and they want to have it exchanged and a second different type of single piece of acrylic lens implanted. During the preoperative eye exam, we determine if an intraocular lens exchange is the appropriate solution to help the patient achieve their visual goals. Then we dilate the pupil to make sure that the anterior capsular axis is well centered, between 4.5 to 5 millimeters in diameter, and if there is 360 degrees of anterior capsule overlap of the lens optic. It is helpful to obtain accurate manifest refraction of the patient's eyes, and if possible, to know the lens implant type and power that the patient received. Though it is not required, having the preoperative biometry is also very helpful in selecting the appropriate power for the replacement lens implant. Intraocular lens exchange is performed in our usual manner, topical anesthetic augmented with intraocular lidocaine and oral Valium 10 milligrams. We do not use IV sedation in our ASC. Once the anterior chamber is filled with Helon GV, we elevate the anterior capsular rim and visco dissect the IOL from the capsular bag. The IOL haptics are visco dissected from the equator of the capsular bag. Then the IOL is rotated into the anterior chamber, cut with IOL cutters, and removed in two pieces. An anterior vitrectomy is then performed. Insertion of the replacement IOL involves placement of the IOL anterior to the anterior capsule. Then we hold the edge of the optic with micro forceps and use a Connor wand to maneuver the lens haptics posterior to the anterior capsular rim. The lens optic is then maneuvered posterior to the anterior capsule. Once the entire lens implant is posterior to the anterior capsule, the optic edge held by the forceps is brought anterior to the anterior capsular rim. Next, a Connor wand is placed posterior to the optic, then maneuvered to lift the opposite edge of the optic anterior to the anterior capsule. Then the micro forceps and Connor wand are used to lift and center the IOL optic so it has adequate support from the anterior capsule on both sides perpendicular to the haptics that are posterior to the anterior capsule. Once the replacement single piece acrylic lens is in reverse optic capture and the IOL is deemed to be centered and stable, the viscoelastic is removed from the eye using BSS flushed through 27 gauge cannulas. Do not perform IA to remove viscoelastic from the anterior chamber if the IOL is in reverse optic capture and there's no capsular support. Whenever I've tried INA, even when lowering the infusion pressure to the lowest setting, I've caused dislocation of the IOL into the vitreous, which can potentially necessitate referral of the patient to our retinal colleagues. Following this process, I found that intraocular lens exchange of single piece acrylic lens implants after YAG capsulotomy has become a common and very safe procedure within our practice. We've been able to help a lot of patients who've traveled from all over the country and all over the world to come see us with single piece acrylic lenses that they were unhappy with we've been able to do intraocular lens exchange despite the presence of an open posterior capsule and make them very happy in the end. Now there's one additional method for intraocular lens exchange after YAG yeah, capsulotomy that I'd like to discuss. For patients that undergo lens exchange around a year or more after implantation may also be able to have the replacement 
single piece acrylic lens implant placed completely into the capsular bag. The capsular bag becomes more rigid and fibrotic month by month and year by year after the primary surgery. I have found that single piece acrylic lenses can be placed safely and securely inside the capsular bag if the peripheral capsular support is stable enough to allow placement of the lens inside the capsular bag. So in summary, you can place a single piece acrylic lens into the eye safely in the presence of an open posterior capsule. Thank you for watching this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.